Hi there. Welcome to this video on potential transformers. We'll get into what they are, how they work, and then do some quick calculations. Now, a potential transformer is a voltage transformer that we use to read voltage on higher voltage circuits. Uh, they're really common in revenue metering, so where we need to have a meter in order to bill a customer. Um, by code, in Canada, they're required on systems over 600 volts, but lots of supply authorities require them on systems 600 volts and sometimes even less. Um, so what do they do? Well, it's a step-down transformer that will isolate a voltmeter from the circuit to make it safer. Now, they don't look anything special. They are a little transformer. High side and a low side, right? So if this is our system right here, they would just look something like this. Usually they're fused. Right, of course, we would have a high side and a low side. This would be H1, H2. On the low side, we have X1, X2. They're always in that subtractive polarity. Um, and one other thing that is important to note about them is they will always have a white dot on them, or often. So they have a big white dot. Now the white dot is meant to go towards the supply or towards the source. So current flows into the white dot, ideally, if current's coming from the source, okay? So that's the idea behind that white dot. Now on the load side of this is where we see that voltmeter connected in. So now the voltmeter is magnetically isolated from this high voltage source. So, you know, maybe in this example here, we'll call this 480 volts. The rating on the secondary of the potential transformer for the voltmeter, the standard rating for revenue metering is always 120 volts like that. The other thing to note is that that secondary is always grounded for safety. Awesome. So that's how it works. Now, when we look at these meters, the thing to keep in mind is they are all about a ratio, a transformer ratio. So in this case here, it, my primary is 480 volts. My secondary is 120 volts is the rated voltage, right? So of course, this would be a four to one ratio, right? 480 volts to 120 volts. Now, why does that ratio actually matter? Well, it matters in terms of, like I said, the, the metering, knowing what is there. So we can have this 120 volt voltmeter measuring, you know, it could be a 480 volt circuit, could be a much higher voltage circuit. It's a little bit safer because of the lower voltage. So, okay, in this case, we said we had a four to one ratio, right? So this is our calculation example. Well, or a, you know, 480, 120 ratio. Well, what if when I go read this voltmeter, I look at the voltmeter, what if that voltmeter reads on the display or on the meter 116 volts? Well, what does that mean would be my actual primary voltage? Well, in this case, if we read 116 volts, we're gonna take 116 volts that I'm reading, multiply it by my ratio, that tells us that on the primary it would actually be 464 volts, but our meter only needs to be rated for that 120, right? Um, now this comes down to a little bit of a relationship, right? You can set it up by going in a one to four is equal to 116 volts over X and rearrange that formula to calculate. That's kind of the general idea behind PTs um, and a basic calculation. So make sure you check out another video I have here on CT and PT calculations, as well as I have a video just like this talking about CTs. Really appreciate you watching this video. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that like button down below. Thanks and have a great day.